So with me now is a choreographer, the artistic director of Dark Room Contemporary Dance Company, Louise Kotze. And as, as I always do, I ask uh, the artist to say their name again, just in case I've pronounced it wrong. So <laughs> welcome, Louise. Thank um, you. Could you pronounce your surname yourself, please? Uh, Louise Kutze. Louise Kutze, <laughs> yes. You did so, perfect. <laughs> I did it perfectly. Good. At last. I'm getting there. <laughs> So Louise is based in Cape Town and her piece is called Blame It on the Algorithms and it's performed by two very talented male dancers um, but I'll leave her to tell us more about the theme and the subject matter. Over to you Louise. Thank you for me. Um, yeah so Blame It on the Algorithm uh, was a work I developed last year um, for the Baxter Dance Festival. I actually presented a short a 12 minute piece um, at the dance festival and the festival supported the development of the work um, and then it got accepted to the word fierce where we developed it to a full-length work uh, which was so great I think it's always wonderful when you get to um, you know put something out get feedback get sort of some you know just see where it's sitting and then be able to go back to it and develop it further so that was a a really great um, process to do and I think it came about um, just through discussion with um, the sound artist Bryden Bolton who I worked with on this piece. Um, I actually work with him quite often and he knows I enjoy working with quite experimental sound scores, um, not always maybe a conventional idea of music for dance but sound that is, is really quite um, experimental and different and um, he, yeah, we were just discussing this idea of, of communication and how um, we are glued to our devices and we're so reliant on our technology to communicate. But at the same time, the way we communicate through these devices, through email, there's a certain language and there's certain things that can so easily be misunderstood. If you're writing something in capital letters, it takes on a whole other meaning. <laughs> and so the same with WhatsApp, it has a different language. Um, so it's all these different ways of how we are trying to connect through technology, but at the same time, it's it's not always the best. It's it's often that we're just getting lost in translation. Um, so that was really, I think, just something I wanted to explore a bit and look at, and um, and then Bryden, of course, um, developed this very interesting sound score um, that is uh, written completely for three dot matrix printers that play the sound score in real time throughout the performance. So, um, so an interesting approach to that idea of digital noise, because that's essentially what we are trying to, to get at is it's so um, incessant, the, the way that we are fed information and just flooded with data and algorithms and all of this stuff all day long, all night long, um, and, what, and what's really the point of it, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so that was kind of where it, where it came from. I mean, I, I saw the piece and um, what struck me was the set. I think the set is quite simple, but I found striking the pieces of paper, balls of paper, shrawn all over.